know that breakfast is the crucial meal of the day and there's mounting research evidence to show that we really should all be eating breakfast. But the problem is, loads of us skip it. And if we don't skip it, we perhaps don't have a very nutritious start to the day, perhaps because our lives are chaotic, there's loads of stress going on in the household, and even the excuse that we don't have time. We were really interested to do some research to look at the role that breakfast plays in our daily lives. So when Kingsmill asked us if we would do this piece of research for them, we were really, really pleased, because what we want to know is, why is breakfast so important? What kinds of breakfast are important, particularly whole grains? Why are they important? But also, does it make a difference in terms of how we eat our breakfast every morning? And so we asked the Foley family from Leeds to give us a little insight into what they normally get up to. Hi, I'm Julie. Hello, I'm Beth. Hi, I'm George. Hi, I'm Harry. Hi, I'm Jason. Well, the traditional breakfast in the Foley family was sort of characterised by being uh, chaotic in front of the telly, kind of not concentrating on it, and being slightly random in its content as well. So anything from a sausage roll with sugar on it to you know anything that they could grab you know, and, and go with, really. They're a lovely family and I think representative of a lot of families. Julie, she's a busy working mum of three kids. She is absolutely devoted to her kids, wants to do the best for them, and really came to me, I think, saying, look, I want to give my kids a whole grain breakfast, I want to make a difference, but I don't know how I can actually get them to do it. I don't want to have the fights, the tantrums and so on anymore. What was breakfast really like before we started working together? Very chaotic, everybody eating sugary cereal, um, bickering, just mad really, just not enjoyable, everybody stressed. Going to get some breakfast? What sort of things would you have eaten as a family before? Would eat sugary cereals. You were quite shocked when I sort of laid out for you how it can actually have a really bad effect on children not to have breakfast. And there's a lot of research that shows that it can actually cause them to have worse grades at school. It can increase stress levels if you don't eat breakfast, which can have an impact on how children learn. But obviously, I want my children to do to do well in in schooling and things so obviously if I can make things better for them on a the morning to give them a, a better education a better outlook on life then then I will so I was quite shocked at, at what we found out about it. So um, motivating your kids to change their behaviour we all know as parents is a really tough thing. Jason what was different this time that got your kids to, to eat a good breakfast? Uh, we put in, um, in place um, a better structure. Yes let's see <laughs> We'll do a good tick for that. I've never been good with bickering. So you had a chart, did you, Harry? What was the chart like? It said, um, get, get up and dressed when I'm told. Can you help, Harry? Um, get dressed straight away, come down to the table and eat our breakfast. And if you did all those things on the chart, what would you get on the chart? You'd get um, a star. If you got all your stars for doing really well in your breakfast, what would then happen? And um, we'd get some money at the end. So you'd get your week. pocket money if you at did. At the end of the week. Right. So it was about motivating the kids to actually want to be part of changing mm -hmm. their behaviour. Why don't you tell us how things are different? Um, because we didn't used to all sit at the table and we all just, and now we're not bickering and fighting as much and it's all going calm on the morning. Has it, people eat differently now? Are we eating different things? Yes, because we're all having the same me meals in the morning. What, did you enjoy the food? Yeah. yeah. Did you like the boiled eggs and soldiers? Yes. And the bacon sandwich? Yes. Yeah. I want to do this all the time because it's a good way to start the day. I felt good at school and I've been concentrating more. I feel more healthier and I have more energy. Probably because of the whole high-protein diet that kind of really took off in the late 90s. And people began to see bread as a starchy carbohydrate that was somehow bad for you. And that's a tragedy. You know, bread is the staff of life. It provides starchy carbohydrates, it provides energy as a result of that, and vitamins and minerals. So actually it's an incredibly healthy way to, to fuel up in the mornings, and uh, especially if you have whole grain. One of the things we're uh, wanting you to do, Julie, is to try and include whole grains at breakfast because um, obviously whole grains are good for your digestive system, good for your health generally, they give you antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and things, but also because um, they provide fibre, they seem to help to keep us feeling full. Getting whole grains into children isn't always easy. How did you find it? tried to have uh, brown bread before, but they've always 
tried it and they've always gone, no, we don't like it. So the, we do like the uh, the King's Mill 50-50 bread and the, they love that. I don't think they realise that it is sort of half and half kind of thing, but uh, they're, they're really into it. So they... Uh, but they said this not felt a bit more awake and alert and, and fuller. It's just like a, a mum's thing, really, that you know that your children have gone out the door and they've had some nice, uh, healthy things. In fact, what we found in the research that we did um, for, as part of this big study that we've done is that people who had whole grain for breakfast, like if they had some toast like you did um, for the week that you did it for us, they were, they were much, much less stressed. So actually it makes people much less stressed in the morning. So you start your day feeling a lot happier and a lot healthier. So, if there were loads of kids around the country going, we don't like eating whole grain, we don't like eating bread, what would, you, what would your advice be to them, Bethany? What would you say? I'd, say? I'd say, why don't you just give it a go, try it, you might like it. So, the question is, did the experiment work? Yes! yes. Good! Well, there we are. The Foley family have certainly helped us to understand, and they themselves have understood just how important a healthy breakfast is to start the day. So here's the really clear message. Breakfast is crucial. It's crucial for all of us to get going. It's really crucial for healthy development for children and also for them to do really well in their day at school. So as parents, it really is important that we give breakfast to our children before they leave for school, or if not, enrol them at a breakfast club at school. If you're a parent who wants to give your kids the best start to the day, follow the fantastic example that we've seen with our family, the Foley family. It's all about routine, it's all about structure, it's all about motivation, it's about healthy eating and it's about whole grain. That's the best way to start your day.